All right, this time I'm gonna set up uh, open SSH server really quick. Uh, I should have done this like the first one, but um, we're doing it now here. So we have these files in here uh, that you should download. And I changed up the script a little bit. This time uh, we, we may have like a little main menu for it. And this one's just called server scripts here. So what you wanna do is do a chmod plus X and I'll explain you, um, you know, why I did it and all that. But now you should have, um, you know, it turned green now because you have an executable, right? So you do a dot slash server scripts. And now you have like this uh, menu interface because I got tired of doing um, ch mod for each script every time. It was just too tiring. And the menu is just a quick way of doing it. Uh, you can still use the script, you know, each individual script um, as is. If uh, you wanted to, you don't have to use this menu. But the menu just helps to make it uh, even quicker to set up multiple, um, you know, services. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, setting up SSH really quick. You just hit one because that's the number one here, right? This one here. So we do one and I'll tell you, you know, what SSH is uh, about and all that. And do you want to refresh your repositories? Uh, you would want to do your refresh of repositories if, uh, you know, this is the first time you're setting it up. Okay. So we do yes. Otherwise, if you're setting up like multiples, you know, after uh, one after another, you don't have to do this. Um, but the first initial one, of course, you want to do a refresh of your um, system uh, repositories. And then from there, it will actually automate uh, installing, you know, whatever the package is. In this case, it's uh, SSH or in open SSH, I mean. So now it's installing it real quick. And it's going to start the services. There you go. That's it, right? And so this is how you use SSH. If you guys don't know, you do SSH, the username, at, and then the IP, right? And if you have a different port, uh, you can do, you know, whatever port it is. Generally, if you have 22, you don't have to do the port part. Uh, so now we can go use our system here, this one here, and we're going to SSH into that. So SSH, uh, the username is Mint, and the IP is uh, dot one dot <coughs> was that nine eight, and that is it, right? And this is your first time connecting. You have to hit yes here, and then your password, and that's it. We're in. Um, there we go. So let's say if I go to uh, the desktop, so CD desktop. And let's say I write a file in there. We'll do vim. And we will do um, hello world. How about that? TXT. And in here, we'll just type in an example. Right, so that's it. Now we save it. And if I go back into the VM, um, it should have that file in here. Look at that, that file we just created. We'll open this. And there you go, SSH works. Um, so that's it, really. Um, now, if you want to set up, um, what is that? Enable X forwarding or X11 forwarding, you can do that. And X11 forwarding is just, you know, um, a way to um, run like GY apps over SSH. Uh, you can do it from here, but let's say if I wanted to do from that SSH session here, right? Uh, where was that file? This one here, um, since we're already in the SSH session, we don't have to uh, use that VM. So we can do the uh, same thing. Now, we let's say we want to set up, uh, was that the X1140? Uh, you do 1A, right? And they'll you know, give you a little description of what it does and whatever. And then do you want to enable it? Um, yes or no? If you hit no, it'll just do uh, kick us back into our main menu here. But if we do 1A again, and we do yes, uh, it will actually, um, who was that, uh, edit that configuration and it will restart the SSH uh, services. And the only difference here is uh, we have the dash capital X and that will allow us to do, um, you know, GUI apps over SSH here. So that's the only difference. And then from there you can do like, you know, any GUI app and then you have to like, the end sign or whatever. <clears throat> 
so let's give that a test here we'll quit out of this and we actually have to exit this one because we're not um signing as the uh the x session so we have to do the same thing the only difference is that we have to do the capital x here right dash capital x and now we're logged in here and now we're going to actually run GY apps here. So let's go into that desktop and we'll do that same file that we did before. And we're going to use this uh, GUI text editor called XED. I think that's what it's called. And then we're going to do, um, what's that, hello world that we just did. All right. And now we have to do the and sign here because we want to, you know, allow us to use the um, terminal uh, for other stuff too. So we here, this is the, the text editor they have for um, mint here and now we're going to do um, x11 forwarding works also right so that's it that's all you gotta do oh man why am i using vim stuff in there uh save there you go and now that's it that's how you do uh, gy apps um you know send it to your local machine here and now if you want to check the file over there in that VM, let's quit out of this. We don't need this. We open it here, and you see here it says uh, X11 forwarding works. Also, that's what we did uh, over the SSH session. Anyways, that's how you do uh, GUI apps. So it doesn't have to be text editor. You can do like you know whatever GUI apps that you have in your system. You can actually just forward it, like a web browser, uh, whatever it is, right? Um, and that's how you do it. Um, the difference there, uh, really easy to set up, you know, and like I said, the uh, SSH, you know, you can do the regular way here. The only difference is the capital dash X there. And that's how you connect to, uh, you know, your, um, what's that? The X 11 forwarding session. You can still use, you know, command line, but whenever you need to use, uh, the G Y, um, you can do that too. Right. That'll be it for this one.